Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for September 17th through the 23rd. This is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. If you feel confused by this reading, then it's not for you, okay? Um, simple as that. Typically, these readings are for people that are struggling, okay? If you're in a happily ever after relationship, then you probably don't need it. This is about acting with integrity, doing the right thing. This could also be a solid offer or a new offer or just a message. A message coming in. not listening to the truth refusing refusing to hear the truth now this is a, a new opportunity but you're not seeing things clearly I mean both of these cards both of these cards right here is lack of clarity both of them You're not seeing the situation clearly. You may be blinded by lust. I mean, I just have to tell you what I see. You know, a lot of you guys don't want to hear things that aren't pretty. So somebody may be blinded by lust. Hmm third party situation third party situation somebody could be you know have desires outside of this relationship these are at the end they're on the outside here somebody is thinking about walking away or they are walking away but okay okay so maybe your intuition is telling you to walk away but you're not listening to it because you're going to have to find the moral backbone to do so. Hurts. It hurts. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. And like I said, what, two minutes ago, you guys don't like to hear things that aren't pretty. I know that you don't. Clinging. You guys are clinging to some memories. You're clinging to somebody. The idea of love, but feeling very criticized. There's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of pettiness. You probably have some competition with this person, whoever it is that you're thinking about as I'm talking. There's some competition. There's no love here. Okay, where is the love? This is a third party situation. It is. You know, we got to look at what's next to it. You have some competition here. This is a competition card, which is making you defend yourself. Third party situation, sex lost. Okay? Somebody is, is really hurting. Really, really hurting. Maybe somebody walked away or somebody is going to walk away. Because it's unstable. And they're beginning to realize the truth of the situation. And stand up. No longer going to sacrifice myself. It's time for me to be logical here. Somebody has made the decision to struggle through this pain. Deal with the struggle. Make that call. Wake up. Awakening. This is a wake-up call. Where here, it's being refused. So yeah, there's been a refusal to wake up, but it feels like the awakening is here, whether you like it or not. Perhaps there's been a third-party situation where maybe there was sex involved, obviously, with a third-party situation. And, you know, you have to make, you have to take the lead in this situation. You need to be logical here. Face the pain. 
go through rebirth. Now we have these three threes. We do have three threes. I know we do. Three, three, and then the three of swords is under here. Three, three, three. Threes are about growth, change, uh, removing what no longer serves you so that you can heal and allow a, a rebirth. So, and this is, this is truth. This is truth. This is also a card of karma. This is you accept the truth, go through a renewal, receive some sort of miracle, a new beginning, a major new beginning, major, 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 karmic lesson, growth. So you guys have had to learn a major lesson so that you could grow. This, you had to, there was a life experience because the empress, she becomes the empress through life experience. Okay? And struggle. And this is the struggle. So you guys have been struggling with something, gaining experience through karma. Now the lesson has been learned and this cycle is ending and bringing you a new opportunity. Now you do have a new opportunity. And this opportunity has come probably via a third party situation that forced you to wake up and accept the truth of whatever this was and now you have a new opportunity because you feel the pain you deal with the pain you struggle through it and now you get your reward your miracle is another opportunity so now you guys have a new opportunity after you remove an obstacle so for those of you that are still hanging on to this untruth and in denial, you there's an obstacle. This is an obstacle. The Eight of Swords Reverse is an obstacle that needs to be removed so that you can have your new beginning. You have to feel the pain, you do, to have your new beginning. To step over that finish line and have this, this fresh new start, okay? You have to wake up, okay? You've got to see the contradiction here. I refuse to wake up, I wake up. So if you are refusing to wake up, then you will continue to be stuck in limbo. If you are allowing yourself to wake up and allowing yourself to feel the pain and be logical and step outside of your comfort zone and remove this obstacle that's holding you back, then there's an opportunity for a new beginning. But here we have somebody, a water sign, but it could be you taking on these energies. This is somebody who is overly emotional, overwhelmed, depressed, very depressed, denial. I mean, this woman, she doesn't, she will try to escape the pain through addictions, whatever. Try, and so some of you are doing that. Some of you are trying to escape the reality through, you know, with drugs or alcohol or whatever. Anything to bury the pain. Hmm. There's a loss of focus, a loss of concentration, a loss of strength. You have to stand up for yourself. You don't need to sacrifice yourself for a situation that is untrustworthy, where there's no stability. You don't. You don't need to sacrifice yourself to gain, engage in a competition. You want to compete? You want to compete with another person? Is that what you want? Is that what you're worth? It's time to take that next step. I can see that you guys are trying to be flexible and you're trying to adapt to this situation. But you're really on the verge of, of falling. It's not, you're dealing with a situation that is, is untrustworthy. And I don't, I don't care what anybody says. And I think that you know it, but you don't want to know it. You don't want to know it. You don't want to. Who does, right? I, I kind of like to keep the mask on sometimes too. But this is, this is, an, this is an untrustworthy situation. You're dealing with a situation where the other person doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. They're not telling you the truth. You know it, even though you pretend you don't know it. It's good to bury it, you know. It's karma. 
absolutely karma. At this point, you're probably calling some bad karma into your life because you're not doing the right thing. Okay, you have to do the right thing. Otherwise, you know, you have to. If you don't, then... If you don't do the right thing for your growth, for your own growth, you'll get bad karma. You will. You will. You have to find the strength to deal with pain. And the pain is the three of swords underneath here. You have to find the strength to deal with it. And the, to get to this birth, you have to go through pain. There's pain that somebody is trying to deny. They're trying to, you know, mask it with whatever they can to mask it with. And therefore, they're, they're doing themselves a serious, serious, serious injustice by not taking the steps towards balance, okay? You have to, you have to walk to the other side even if it's scary, even if it hurts, you got to keep going. But that's going to take strength. And somebody is lacking the strength and the courage and the confidence and the willpower and the concentration and the focus to keep walking. Therefore, they're not getting what they deserve. You're in a one-sided situation, but in 100% denial over it, masking it. Pretending that everything is okay. All the while feeling discontent and boredom and sad and worry. You know, I want more. I know that there's got to be more to this. I know. And you guys, you want this true love, right? You do. But where you're at right now, you're not, it's, it's a one-sided situation. And you're not getting what you deserve because you're not taking the steps that you need to do to take. You're, not, you're only focusing on... On, on one thing instead of seeing that there's another opportunity waiting for you. You're focusing on this one that's kind of like floating away when you have an opportunity right here. You're, you're, you guys are, are not listening. You're totally, 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 totally not listening. You're not listening to your intuition. You're not listening to your inner guide. You're not you're being poked, you're being nudged, the worries, the things that are keeping you up at night, you know, the worries, the, the fears, whatever you got to mask, those are intuitive nudges. That's the universe saying, you know, do the right thing. Do the right thing. You know this isn't right. You know you're not happy. What are you doing? Why are you listening? So therefore, therefore, they're going to keep throwing hurdles, you know, all over the place, places that you don't expect. That's the, the karma, and there's karma up here as well, too. They're going to keep throwing hurdles, and they that don't even seem, you don't know where they're coming from. I mean, all kinds of different hurdles until you wake up and do the right thing. Now, this could be a this could be a divorce. Somebody is is hanging on to something because they don't want to deal with a divorce. They don't want to deal with legal issues. This is legal issues divorce as well. So I think that somebody could be staying in a situation because they don't like I said you don't want to deal with the pain. So you could be, you know, not wanting to deal with a divorce, not wanting to deal with a breakup because, you know, that involves pain. Somebody is lacking courage, confidence and strength to deal with pain when they know deep down that it's coming. You have to hold your head up high. You have to do the noble thing to bring victory and success to your life. This is about finding the confidence to move forward so that you can get the love that you deserve. Right now, somebody is in a one-sided commitment. Okay? And they're, they're stalling true love from coming in. I mean, that's what's happening here. There's, I think that somebody is definitely looking outside of the relationship. Now, you see, these are both lust, and I mentioned it at the beginning. Whether it's you or the person that you're with, somebody is definitely looking outside of the relationship, giving their energy and their time to something else and you're you may be trying to control destiny but needing to free yourself 
meeting some liberation here. It is time to free yourself from this toxic situation, whatever it is. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. doesn't matter who you're dealing with. We got all the signs here, so it really doesn't matter. But this is about freedom, personal freedom, because right now you're going to, this is bad luck. As, did I just say it with this one or this one? This is bad luck as well. This is bad karma. This is bad luck. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. So if you don't act with integrity, that's what you can expect to come. Okay, if you don't follow your truth, if you don't, if you bury the truth, you can sit, you continue, you will continue to get hurdles. The universe will continue to make it uncomfortable until you do. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is the universe making it uncomfortable until you do the right thing for you, which is, which involves self-love. Okay. You have to love yourself enough to face pain. There's codependency here. There is absolutely codependency here. Somebody is staying in a situation just to say, I have, I have somebody. And it's not really stable. It's not. You're not passing the test. My knight, The Knight of Pentacles is a test card for me. It's reversed. You're not passing the test. You have a solid opportunity waiting for you. You do. This is your reward after you pass the test, after you free yourself. You free yourself from this situation that is not healthy, and you will receive a reward. The same with the Empress. You, you have a reward waiting for you, but you have to prove you have to prove that you're solid. You have to prove that you're noble. You have to prove that you're confident. You have to prove that you love yourself. You have to free yourself from these demons. You have to focus on the future. You need to board that ship. You need to board that ship to freedom. Anyway, I feel like there is something that you have been waiting for, preparing for, is coming. There is, there is love. There is love and there is passion. But this is you. This is you, not happy. I'm not sure if your partner is in a third party. Somebody's in a third party situation because I, I see that under here, under here. And there's sex. There's sex. Sexual encounters on the outside. They're on the outside. So I'm thinking that, you know, beware. That's all. Beware. Yee! Yeah. Okay, you might be able to avoid this desire. It's going to end. I know that it is anyway. I know that you guys don't want to, you don't want to live up to that. You don't want to believe it. Something is not built on a strong foundation. And it is going to crack. It is. And you know it, whatever it is. There's a lot of unhappiness here. Somebody is really unhappy. And I think they're looking outside of their relationship for, you know, you know what? Yeah, you're, somebody is in a situation where there's no more growth. There's no, it's unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. Somebody is not satisfied and I think it's, I think it's sexually, okay? I'm just telling you what I see. And I know that there's definitely a shitload of denial here. So you guys can deny it all you want. And this reading may not be for you. It may not be for you. You know if it is or not. But you try not to know. So that's definitely a problem. Anyway, somebody is not wanting to accept the truth. With a judgment card needing to accept the truth. About... A dissatisfying sex life and you you have to find your confidence and your courage please it could be you this could be you this could be you you could be the one that's looking outside for sex being dishonest. I'm just saying. Could be it could be you could be dealing with another Leo Aries or Sagittarius. But there's de look at this shit. Somebody's not being honest here.
but got something to prove with the five of swords. This is a huge ego. It is. Somebody is getting stabbed in the back. You see what that is? Somebody is getting stabbed in the back. So Leo, you need to step in. You need to step into your power and remove this obstacle, whatever it is, so that you can be free. That Ten of Swords, freedom, liberation. You need to you need to be honest with yourself. Please. You have a lot to offer. If you're not happy, and you're not, that's you, you're not, not happy. If you're not happy, you need to find the courage and the confidence to face the pain so that your golden opportunity can arrive. Or the other person. This can, I feel like this can go vice versa because I almost feel like Leo is the one doing this. I mean, it could be the other person. Okay? It could be. There's, but this is, I mean, could be both. So somebody is not happy in this dynamic and their sexual desires are probably being met on the outside, on the outside. Somebody's being stabbed in the back. But in complete denial over it. And look at look at that devious look on her face. So you know, I don't know who's doing it, but it could be either one. Expand your horizons. That's definitely happening. Somebody is expanding their horizons. I'm I'm pretty sure about that. Vast vistas. Expand your horizons. See the world around you in new ways. This is not a time to think small. It's an exciting time for you. You may find travel or new adventures in your future. And this is absolutely a new adventure, but it's a sexual one. <laughs> it is. Think outside the box. Ideas and projects that, have been that you've been contemplating on are now moving toward manifestation. Unconventional relationships may flourish. Yes, there is absolutely an unconventional relationship here. Outside the... Remember, I said, this says outside the box. I said outside the relationship. Something is going on and is being hidden from another person. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Something is absolutely being hidden. Um... New and wondrous paths are ahead. The traveler can choose any direction to journey. Get ready for a joyous, expansive sojourn. Take deep and full breaths, which I'm sure you are. Each breath affirms that you're in an expansive phase of life. Somebody is absolutely, positively expanding their horizons, whether it's you or your partner. It is what it is, right? Talk to you next week.